Okay, this is my intelligent battery. Um, it was just a hobby project that I built uh, because I had issues with uh, batteries dying uh, when they went dead. You know, someone left a light on or a uh, dome light or a car door didn't shut entirely. And I got tired of it wiping out batteries. So this intelligent battery uh, will be, should be immune to that. So uh, there's a couple of things. It's, it's basically designed to protect the lead acid battery. Uh, what we got here is a, here's the lead acid battery. And here is a low voltage disconnect. And what that does is that the battery gets uh, below um, uh, 10 volts or down to 10 volts, it will disconnect it. Uh, these are capacitors. Now what, they, what the capacitors are gonna do is it's, they're gonna start the car. So uh, they'll provide the, you know, 400 plus amps uh, necessary to uh, get the engine going. The, uh, the battery, the lead acid battery, is just going to keep these capacitors topped off. So all the wear and tear will be on the capacitors, you know, which can last 20 to 40 years if, you know, well taken care of. We're just going to have to see how long these last. And uh, I have a resistor uh, going from the battery to the... Uh, capacitors and that's a 3 ohm resistor and that is there uh, to limit the draw on the battery because I want uh, uh, I don't want too hard of a current draw on this battery because um, I want I want light use on it uh, so that it lasts a long time and uh, you know the capacitors they're designed to to take the wear and the tear so uh, in theory this should last um, a long long time and these lead acid batteries are only like 14 bucks because uh, they're for computers. So this is my experiment. And uh, uh, because with the low voltage disconnect, if somebody, uh, say someone leaves the door open and uh, it uh, kills the battery, well, the battery will drop to 10 volts. It'll disconnect. The battery will be fine. And uh, I have an emergency charge button basically that bypasses the uh, uh, the disc the low voltage disconnects so say you find uh, your capacitors are dead and won't start your car and your battery's at 10 volts okay you can push this for you know about 45 seconds and it will charge your capacitors back up and you're ready to go and I have this here so on the fly I can check the voltage of my battery and my uh, capacitors so battery voltage and capacitor voltage. So uh, that's my intelligent battery I designed uh, to solve some problems. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, there it is running. In the car, uh, the capacitors are floating at 14.8 uh, volts. Now we'll check the battery. The battery is at 12.9 uh, volts. Back to the capacitor. So, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to start it. Start it. Starts back up. No problem. Stop it. Start. Capacitor is at 14.1 volts. But it'll float around 14. So that's uh, really neat. It's working now. Now the test to see uh, if it'll start up like say after a week.